Impressionist art is based on the use of colour, which has to draw the motif without resorting to line. At the beginning of his career, Monet used dark colours. From 1860 on, Monet abandoned dark colours and worked from a palette limited to pure light colours. As for the colours I use, what's so interesting about that? I don't think one could paint better or more brilliantly with another palette. The most important thing is to know how to use the colours. Their choice is a matter of habit. In short, I use white lead, cadmium yellow, vermilion, madder, cobalt blue, chrome green, that's all. He began to lose sight in both eyes. The first signs of his cataract can be found in the paintings made in Venice in 1908. As cataract develops, white becomes yellow, green becomes yellow-green and reds and oranges. Blues and purples are replaced by reds and yellows. Details fade out, shapes blur and become lazy. When his vision altered, Monet went on working. He could know what colour he used by the labels and by the unvarying order he set them on the palette. My bad sight means that I can see everything through a mist, he wrote. Monet was used to painting exactly what he saw. Gradually his paintings are invaded by reds and yellows, blues vanish, detail fades like the weeping willows of 1919 and the water lilies of 1920. The effects of the cataract on Monet can be observed from some paintings depicting the same motive, for instance Japanese bridge made in 1897 and the water lily pond made in 1923. Monet wrote to a friend, I realise with terror that I didn't see any more with my eyes. Even so, it is beautiful, and that's what I would like to show. And he had stopped painting in summer of 1922. He was then almost blind. Nevertheless, his friend, George Clemenceau, convinced him to undergo surgery. In 1923, he could see again with his right eye, wearing special green glasses. One I resume painting as soon as 1923. I see blue. I don't see red anymore, nor yellow. This bothers me terribly because I know that these colours exist because I know that there is red, yellow, a special green, a particular purple on my palette. I don't see them anymore as I used to see them in the past, and however I remember very well how it was like. In spite of his handicap, Claude Monet continued to paint until 1926 a few months before he died.
Lloyd in Black was so deeply anchored in Monet's fan art that when he died, his friend would not stand the black sheet covering the coffin. He exclaimed, no, no, not black for Monet, and replaced it by a lowered material. Chaverny is still a quite rural village where Claude Monet chose to settle in 1887. From 1887 to 1914, this establishment was the meeting place for friends and painters. Claude Monet honoured their stays. I wanted to walk up and down the street and perhaps get inside some of these cafes to see what it was like where the artists used to gather and meet. Very similar to even Lloyd's, they used to congregate in a coffee shop and discuss business. I can imagine it was similar with Monet, Suzanne, Renoir, Rodin and Sicily. Today, business is often meet in coffee shops just to chat about different business techniques and new markets to open up, creative ideas, business development. It's, it's not uncommon to find a watering hole or, or a gathering place uh, for like-minded people. Mm -hmm.